What's good everyone and welcome back. So y'all seen the recent video of me working on the Team Rocket set as well as the Watsi promo set. And we went over it and I have a lot of it filled out now. I'm missing about probably 20 cars between the two sets. And then right here in the very back of this binder, I am going to start working on Holland Phantoms, which I don't have a lot right now. And you guys have seen, I, I said I'm going to work on roughly like, I think seven sets, right? So this is going to be the third one that is going to sit inside of this binder right here. That uh, magic cart is fire. That's a nice magic cart. But yeah, so we have a lot of it filled out. Really cool collection. Everything in here is probably about near mint to mint, some light plate. And then moving on to the other binder. So right here, I bought a 12 pocket binder which they're really nice right it's a little bit larger but um they look really really good and you can fit 12 pages now you can see I'm moving on to the fourth set that I'm going to have starting in this binder and right here we're gonna have Team Rocket Returns so Team Rocket Returns is a, is a very tough set to work on and that's because you have hollows very expensive cards and then you're gonna have the stamp cards and stuff like that so it gets very pricey very very quick but we have some really amazing artwork we have the dark tyranitar two of them right there dark radicate sand slash everything just looks so good especially that dark arbok dark gold duck dark dragon air you have two of those right there but we have a lot of these common cards go ahead and give you like a, a big view on these cars there's quite a few in here so we are getting after this set now for team rocket i do have to get the big big cards which are going to be your rares your hollows of course your you know gold stars that are inside of this set but right now it says this set goes to about 109 and of course there's a few big big cards like the trico and stuff in here that you have to get very very pricey and trying to fill that one out but we're making progress right we're making progress in the first binder now i'm making progress on this one so the rest i don't really have a whole lot in here right now fire red leaf green i'm going to start that off with the card number one b drill is a hollow and of course the pages are kind of blank we're working on it right we're going to get all these filled out i have a bunch more cards coming in to fill out some of these pages but that is the plan and then of course the next one we're going to work on right here bam well actually hold on that's the same yeah that's the same set sorry guys so this is the articuno ex really beautiful cracked ice looking card if i can catch that on camera and then this would actually be the next set so we have call of legends we have Palkia right here then moving on we don't have a whole lot in here for call of legends yet either but some really cool looking artwork as well nonetheless and this page is actually almost filled out. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy keeping up with the collection. Um, I'm going to continue, right? I'm trying to trade a bunch of cards to fill out these pages. And, you know, once you get to the big cards, it becomes kind of disheartening. But <laughs> we'll get to it. So my big thing right here is trying to fill out this first page. Um, for the big, big cards, that's what I want to do and it's gonna cost a lot but we'll get after it i have some trade bait um you know just little odds and ends like i'm trading i think i have a tyranitar we have a whole bunch of stuff we have that big magic cart right there that everyone loves so much i have a a dragonite just some little other odds and ends we have a stamp promo we have the mu v there goes the stamp promo right there Iono, of course y'all seen the first one and this card used to be like 700 bucks went down pretty low now it's like 300 i believe kind of cheap now i just got some random one piece don't even know what those are worth but yeah pretty much trading all of that towards uh some stuff that i can get and i think that i still have the other cards in the back back here that I'm trying to trade so I have one page back here that I'm supposed to pull out see where that's at right there and I'm gonna tr end up trading that gold star I want to trade it towards a gold star Pikachu um, for Holland Phantoms 
and that would be awesome. But we'll see how it goes. Um, just, you know, thanks for tuning in. Let me know how you think, you know, the progress is going. Drop a comment. It helps me out. And also, let me know what collections that you guys are collecting, right? So, I mean, I know there's a lot of cool Scarlet and Violet cards you might be into. There's some cool sets coming out. Sword and Shield is still, you know, affordable in some areas. Of course, not <laughs> Evolving Skies. Um, I have been finding packs still out there. I actually cracked a couple uh, today, but not really hitting anything big. I did hit um, just a few rainbows and stuff out of some of the packs that I just opened. And I'll show y'all. Like, I did hit this Bolton right here. And I had an Elisa Sparkle. I have to put him in sleeves. But, yeah, I hit those. And nothing too major. But, yeah, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you. Have a blessed day. I'll see y'all again soon. Out.